Right, here I am again with yet another guitar and the more observant of you will have noticed that it's got six strings. Uh, those of you who have seen my little video about the ill-fated steam resonator will remember that I had a, a bit of a flirtation with the idea of doubling up the strings uh, like you do with a mandolin or a bazooki um, or a 12 string guitar for that matter. Uh, and I tried it with a steam resonator and it wasn't a success. Uh, but sufficient time has gone past for the disappointment to fade so I thought I'd have another go. And this is it. A uh, quick whiz through the technical specs. 14 inches by 8 inches by 2.5. 9mm ply top and uh, back. And solid pine all the way around. Solid oak neck. The strings are 46, 30, 20. And uh, I've set them uh, in their pairs one eighth of an inch apart. Uh, like so, um, the machine heads are uh, six on a plate, which I don't normally like very much, but I'll have individuals. But I happen to have this plate, so I thought I might as well use it. I haven't got any ferrules, so I've made a piece of polished alloy to act as one solid ferrule, which I think looks quite effective. Quite pleased with it. Um, it's got these F holes in. Uh, now I put those where they are um, because really it's just a matter of spacing the holes uh, as far away uh, from everything else. It's the most appropriate place for them to be. It's just unfortunate that they remind you of corsetry. <coughs> anyway. So. Uh, that's what it sounds like um, it, uh, acoustically. Oh dear, I've not got my plane head on tonight. Uh, I'm afraid you're going to have to take my word for it. There is a problem uh, as you go further up the neck. Because the bridge is on a slope, that inevitably means that the, the, the pairs of strings are not quite the same length. And you can start off with them being spot on in tune when they're open. But as you go up the neck they get progressively ever so slightly out of tune with each other. It's not letting me prove it terribly well, but trust me, that's what happens. Uh, so you are left really, um, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I suppose it would be possible, perhaps, to get the three string tailpiece with individual ones. Uh, I've seen them uh, for a 12 string guitar, but I've never seen a, a, a one to fit this sort of arrangement. Uh, three strings doubled, then you would get them spot on. Uh, but and uh, with the bottle, there's a bit of a problem with the bottom two strings clattering against each other. That's it. Make a liar off me. Go on. I don't know if you can hear it, I can hear it at this end, but well, they do, trust me. However, what's it sound like with uh, an amplifier and a spot of uh, echo on it? There's a, a bit of a buzzing happening tonight, I'm not quite sure where it's coming from, but never mind. <laughs>
average plane. It's, uh, but um, I suppose, given a bit or a lot more practice and. Uh, <laughs> Quite a nice instrument, really. Uh, so there you have it. Um, a three by two string guitar. Quite a nice thing to have in the stable. Um, yeah. Whether I as don't think I would go straight for one of these if you were only going to make one guitar. Certainly not. Uh, but uh, nice thing to have in its own right, I suppose. Uh.